All right, in this section, we're gonna take a look at the iRay renderer built into the Substance Painter. So what is the iRay render? It's a ray trace renderer that's built directly into Substance Painter that'll allow you to create some really quick looks at what your 3D model will look like at a higher resolution once it's actually uh, put into a ray trace renderer. Now, in order to get to it, you just go up here to the upper right. Like we've seen uh, these other two baking, uh, the other two view modes. We've got the baking mode, which we saw in an earlier lesson. We've got the painting mode, which we are in 99% of the time. The camera icon here is our third and final one. This is our eye ray mode. So you click this and it'll actually power it up and will, uh, like I said, create a real time uh, ray trace or a ray traced uh, interaction. So it changes the screen entirely. You can see over here to the right hand side, we now have uh, controls over the minimum and maximum samplings. Um, this is kind of cool. You just, you can say you want it to render for, for 10 seconds or whatever, like what the best quality you can get after 10 seconds and then just be done with it. Um, and now from here, you can save out the render. You can make some modifications, things like that. Um, if you want to swap out the, the background, you can certainly go back into your um, display settings and go in here and say that you want it to be in uh, this type of scene and you can take a look around this way. Um, other settings, you know, you can control the exposure of it. You can um, go in and, and actually uh, you can adjust the camera itself. So you can go in and say that you want the field of view. You actually want the focal length. You want it to be a nice telephoto lens because you want it to flatten everything out and kind of don't want any distortion. Awesome. Or you want to test to see what it's going to look like with a super wide angle fisheye, um, fisheye type lens. And you're going to create this crazy effect of your of your product this way. So you also have post-processing things. You can go in and you can add vignetting to it, all that good stuff. Uh, flares, depth of field, you know, whatever, whatever you could, whatever you could possibly want to get out of that here. So now to be truthful with you, I rarely use this feature anymore just because it's so easy to take what we've done in Substance Painter and send it directly into Substance Stager. And you have a much more robust renderer there. But I just wanted to point this out. This is really good if you're at your desk and you have a supervisor coming by and you just want to take a look at it really quickly. And maybe you don't have time to set it over there or maybe Stager is a loaded on your machine or whatever. And you only have uh, the you know the Steam license to Painter. It's still a good option. Um, it's still a nice little way to do a quick preview if, if you want to, if your other option would be to like send it over to Maya or something. So again, just something I wanted to make you aware of. Um, and it's just up there in the upper right hand portion. And man, the more ways that you can make pretty images, the happier it went. So I'm glad there's just one more option for you there. So enjoy.